Disney is one example of a large company that has struggled with issues related to discovery-driven planning in the past. So um, Walt Disney, the man, right, had this concept that people would want to live in the magical world of his imagination. Right, and he called the people that worked in his theme park Imagineers. Right, so so he had this passion about making the world he had in his head a reality that people could walk around. And everybody back in the day said, "You are crazy, Walt." And this was the original Disneyland. Right, nobody's going to want to stand around in the hot sun and look at you know, like robotic animals in an artificial safari. Like, what are you thinking? But he followed his passion. He followed his dreams. He created this magical space, you know, the happiest place on earth. I mean, all that branding, right, about the Disney theme park. And it indeed proved to be a phenomenal success. So the Disney company goes looking for the opportunity to expand. And in the early 80s, settled on Orlando, Florida. Again, the reaction was, you people are nuts at the time. There was nothing in Orlando but like alligators and sand. I mean, it was not the international entertainment destination we know of today. They were the first, right? But they could get cheap land. They figured out how to do things like manage mosquitoes naturally. I mean, this was an, a feat of unparalleled engineering. Just amazing. So they go looking for the next place. And then they light on Tokyo. And everybody said, oh, now you've really lost it, you Disney people. All right, all right, we'll give you Florida, we'll give you California, but Japan, the Japanese are so different. But big success, big success. And so now they go looking for where their next big story is going to be. And it turns out to be uh, Europe. Eventually, they, they get some kind of sweet deal from the government in France. They decide to settle outside of the outskirts of Paris. But there were a couple of snags that they ran into. The building of the park turned out to be a little more problematic than they'd expected. So when it opened, it opened with half the number of rides that the typical Disney park would have. So half the number of rides, half the number of attractions. The other thing they found was Europeans are not interested in, you know, Mickey Mouse hats and the stuff, and so the concession revenue was much less. So it was like each piece of the business model that they brought with them into that, um, into that environment kind of didn't bear out. They didn't check their own assumptions, and it was almost lost in all the subsequent decisions until they luckily were able to figure it out and write the course. But um, it was almost a disaster. So what does success look like? What does the path look like to get you there? And then what are the learning journeys you need to engage in along the way? And then what are the assumptions you're making and have you tested them? 